Hello students, welcome back to our uh, channel. In this video, let us focus on the MCQs on statistics. Like all of you know, statistics is another important subject in foundation exam. You can expect questions worth 20 marks in this. So here the basic focus is on the first chapter. There are 10 questions in this video and let us try to learn the answers for the 10 questions. The first question. The middle value of an ordered array of numbers is called. Now, this is important. Now, what we need to understand here is the ordered array. It means that the numbers, the given numbers have been arranged in a particular order. It can either be in the ascending order or in the descending order. But anyway, the numbers have been orderly arranged. In that case, the middle number is generally called the median. Very important. The middle value of any ordered array of numbers is called the median. Let's move on to the second question. A researcher selects 100 units. A researcher selects 100 units out of the total population to carry out a particular research. It is called. Now let us say this is the population that is available. And out of this, he selects 100 units. So if this is the population, a small segment which is selected from the population becomes the sample for this. So this process is called sampling. The third question is, in statistics, a population consists of all people living in a country, definitely not, because here the focus is on a particular research statement that is being uh, studied. All people living under the study area need not be the case. So the option that is left for us is the C option. What is it? All subjects or objects whose characteristics are being studied. So they become the population. So the answer for us is option C. The next question is, in a week, the prices of a bag of rice were 350, 280, 340, 290, 320, 310, 300. The range is. Now, how do we calculate the range? Range is equal to the highest value minus the lowest value. If you take this as a formula to calculate range, in this case, the highest value is uh, 350 and the lowest value is uh, 280. So 350 minus 280, so the answer is 70. And in this case, it is option B. Let's move on to the fifth question. The sum of percent frequencies for all classes will always be equal to. Now, it is very simple. The moment we use the word percent, it is always equivalent to 100. So the answer here is option D, that is 100. Question number six first quartile is also known as the first quartile is also known as the lower quartile like you know this is a memory based question you just have to know this the first quartile is generally called the lower quartile question number seven number of times an event occurring is called very very simple question this is the most basic question that can be asked in economics and the answer for this is frequency the number of times an event occurs is generally represented as frequency Question number eight, numerical width of any class is called, say for example, it is say 10 to 15, then it is say 15 to 20. So what is this called? This is generally called the class interval. The option is A. Ninth question, Obser observation that samples taken from a large group of test population tend to reflect the characteristics of a group and any anomaly can be discovered by comparing different or larger samples. Now, which law is this? Is this law of statistical regularity, law of distribution, law of probability, all of the above. Now, there is only one law, if you know, in the first chapter that we study in statistics, and that is the law of statistical regularity. See, it's very simple. This is the population that is available for us. You take a very small population, the chances of anomalies are more. You take a larger, pop, larger sized sample, then the chances of you going wrong is less. So this is given in this uh, law and it is called the law of statistical regularity. The last question in this series, pie chart is also called. A very simple question. Now this is how a pie chart looks. There is a circle here and we will have uh, different segments that are done. So if you consider the circle is not anyway appropriate, anyway consider this as a circle. If you do that, the answer for this is circle graph. Pie chart is also called circle graph. I hope uh, you this, this set of questions added some value to you. If you have any doubts, you can leave your doubts in the comment section and we shall get back to you. Thank you so much.